okay, so I just got home from my 11 trip, day trip. It was supposed to be 10, but love airplane. Love, love American Airlines. You guys are awesome. Not really. I'm about to rant. First things first, look how sad this is. Like, I, I love you. <laughs> Where is this supposed to go? <laughs> okay, so um, this video, I'm going to make a bunch of videos actually. A lot. Um, I I haven't slept that much. Um, so if if I sound, if I repeat myself, if I stutter, if I fall, if I act like I'm drunk, if I run into a wall, it's because I've gotten at least five hours of sleep in the past two days. No joke. Okay, maybe not five, maybe like six or seven. I don't know, something. Um, I'm just gonna come sit. I'm gonna come sit on the bed and enjoy myself. Well, it's comfy. Okay. So, look, it's got like this, my bang, what was it, my hair. <laughs> okay, so, um, you can like see the bags under my freaking eyes, even though those kind of are always there, always. Um, so, basically, I was supposed to fly home yesterday night. Um, a plane left pretty early. Not really early, like it was supposed to leave at 3.30, but we ended up boarding at 3.30. Um, but it was like 25 minutes late, and I had to connect a flight to, I was getting on a connecting flight to Dallas, Dallas to Corpus. And um, so when I got to Dallas, I uh, ran to the other gate as fast as I could, and ended up missing the plane, um, because they were delayed. Like the plane I was on, the one that that got that we took off like at four o'clock, um, it was delayed for just some weird reason. Like they didn't tell us there was the weather was fine. There's just people taking their petty little time and uh, thus making making us miss our flight. When I say us, I mean there was six other people that missed this flight. Now this plane, the the plane to Corpus, was a twenty seater plane like it, it was a tiny little plane if six people are missing and you, you get notified like if six people are missing you get notified surely and we were all on the same plane the plane was delayed so you'd think that they would wait for six people six six people one person maybe not but six out of like 20 you'd have to wait give us like 15 20 minutes we would have been there um and so we get there and they're gone and um like the, I was talking to like the, the guys at the at the front, and um, they're like, "We're sorry, that was the only flight. You're gonna have to be in a hotel, and the next flight tomorrow is at seven. And me being me, I start crying. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm a baby, okay? You know, I cry over. I, I if I get stressed, I cry. If I get upset, I cry. If I get mad, I cry. I just I cry over everything. It's just my way of releasing something. So, and I'm alone in Dallas. It's late. Um, and then there's two guys that start yelling at the people like, well, you should have held the plane, yada, 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 it's your fault. And then there was this little, this cute little Chinese couple who couldn't speak any English whatsoever. And, um, luckily, the, one of the guys that was, like, yelling at the guy, his wife was Chinese, so he called her on the phone and was, like, talk to these people, tell them that they have to sleep in a hotel and have to get to the next flight tomorrow. So, um... I had to get a hotel by myself in the middle of freaking Dallas, nowhere, Dallas, Pfft. um, and so I didn't sleep, I only got two hours of sleep last night, and I couldn't sleep on the plane today, and, uh, because it was like, it was, it was impossible, I tried, I tried, but I had to wake up at 5.30, had a dream, I did wake up, and I went to the airport, but my, I set like 15 freaking alarms too, and none of them woke me up until when I, the last one, it was like 5.25 and I had to get down to the shuttle at 5.30. So I, I woke up. Luckily, I slept in this. So, <laughs> my luck. Um, so, yeah. Went to the shuttle, rode the plane. I got on the plane, right? I got front front seats, like single seats because it's a small plane. I got very, very front and single seats. And um, there's like a ton of people on the single seats. And then there was like no one on the right side with the double seats. And so the lady, the, the flight attendant, there's people in front of me, right? There's like a, a guy, a 
big built man uh, sat in front of me and then there, were, there was plenty of people behind me. Yet the flight attendant comes over to me and goes, we're having um, weight dis dis distribution problems. Um, do you mind sitting in the far back of the plane on the right side? I'm like, are you calling me fat? Like, does this, this hoodie is, is, it's a hoodie. That doesn't mean I'm fat. Like, are you, are you trying to say something? I've got little sleep. I haven't eaten in over 24 hours. I am going to pimp slap you so hard. You're going to go flying across this entire airport into Australia, into the ground, and all the way out to China where you're going to run into that cute little couple that was on the plane that was sitting next to me that could speak a lick of English. And you're going to be so freaking lost. And so I was like, no, I don't want to sit back there. I kind of like my spot right here. She's like, Okay, so she went to the guy behind me, and he just shook his head no. And then there was the guy that was sitting in front of me, you know, the big kind of buff guy. I was like, I'll go sit back there. So he went and sat back there, and I'm like, I I don't weigh that much, okay? I am, like, good for my height. I'm 5'5", five five and, like, 120 pounds. That's fine. That's fine. That's, that's Everything's fine. Like, why? Why pick on me? I'm a 20-year-old. That's, that's average. What is your deal, woman? You jelly! You jelly! You jelly! You jelly! So, that has been my issue. Um, I just land- I landed like, I don't know. I landed and then my mom picked me up and then I was like, I couldn't find my bag. Of course. But then, I found it. Which was amazing because after everything I've been through. Oh, and then, again, I'm moving. Just found out I, I'm not going to be in this magnificent purple room or this downstairs any much longer. Because I have to go move in with my grandma because my mom found a house and doesn't have room for me. Which is awesome. So I have to go stay with my grandma until I find my own place. So the adventure begins. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching guys. I'm sorry I haven't put up a video in a while. I Y'all can understand because I had the LA trip and kind of wanted to spend time with Tom and cried at the airport. See, I just cried. It's so emotional, man. Like, I, I... Almost cried during Red Dawn, which which is a good movie, Tucker, and everyone else. <laughs> everyone says it's a bad movie. I thought it was fantastic, but that's because I like Josh Peck and Chris. I don't know his last name. It's like Hemsworth, I think. Thor. Thor was in it, but that was before he was Thor. Yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll start doing more videos more often, and I'll talk about my LA story, and I have a ton of videos for like behind the scenes that... Is fantastic but I gotta find it edit it and uh, I need to go take a nap but I'm probably not going to because I am crazy I have gone insane hope you guys have a fantastic day I'm gonna this is just not machine no, 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 no. oh look a panda bye